Hi everyone, welcome to um, the ninth video in this series in which we look at how do we build an augmented reality app in Unity. And to do so, we're going to look at um, what are first the requirements um, to build an AR app. Then we're going to look at how to import AR foundation packages and talk a little bit about what AR foundation is, how to use the prefabs that um, AR foundation gives us, then what kind of build settings we have to pay attention to, and then finally, for those of you who are on iPhone, how do we deal with Xcode in order to get it on our iPhone. So let's get started by opening the Unity Hub. The first requirement is that because AR is on mobile, we need to check that we have uh, mobile components installed. Um, as you see here, I only have the iOS build support and the web build support. So what I'm going to do and is going to add Android by clicking Add Module, Android build support, and it's going to install it. Okay, so it finished downloading the Android support. I'm going to go to the projects and create a new one. I'm going to call it AR demo and create it. Okay, so now we have a normal project, um, our sample scene with our main camera, our directional light, and so on. The first thing we need to do is to import the AR Foundation package. Um, and to do that, we go to the package manager by clicking Window, Package Manager. It's going to fetch all the packages um, that are available to download. And so these are the ones that are already downloaded in the project. I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to go to the Unity registry, which are all the, the official Unity packages. And I need to select um, two packages. So if you're developing for iPhone, then you would select AR Foundation and AR Kit, XR plugin, this one. If you're developing for Android, you would do AR Foundation and AR Core. AR Core is for Android, AR Kit is for iOS. And AR Foundation we always need. So I'm going to click on AR Foundation, I'm going to click on Install. Then because I'm going to be showing uh, how to export both to AR Core and to AR Kit, um, I'm going to be showing uh, also downloading or installing the AR Core XR plugin and the AR Kit XR plugin. So this finishes to install the main AR Foundation package. It's done. I am going to install the AR Core, and once this one is done, I'm going to install AR Kit. Um, so what AR Foundation does is um, it's a it's it's a layer that Unity creates between those two different uh, ways of doing augmented reality. So AR Core for Android has one way of doing it. AR Kit for iPhone has another way of doing it, and then there's sort of a, a layer on top that AR Foundation creates so that we can basically just create our Unity um, application. The same way we would do uh, independent of whether we want to um, export it to an Android phone or whether we want to export it to an iPhone. And finally, Caracid XR. Okay, sweet. We have the three of them. Let's, I'm going to close this. And now we're going to start creating, um, importing our prefabs to allow us to do uh, AR. So because AR relates to the real world, we have a special kind of camera. So I'm going to delete this camera, right click, delete, and I'm going to create an XR camera. I'm going to XR, and essentially the camera is going to be the session origin. Um, session origin is an, is an object that um, AR Foundation gives us, which deals with the orientation of the camera, the rotation, um, uh, perspective effects and so on. If you go there, you see inside there's an AR camera. The second one we need is an AR session. The AR session 
we don't ever need to touch it. Um, all it's going to do is it's going to um, uh, take care of starting the error system, stopping the error system. Like if you get a message in the middle of doing the error application and you switch to like WhatsApp or Telegram or something, um, then AR session would be in charge to pause the AR app and then restart it when we go back to it. So if we just have the, these two, we're going to have the most bare bones application possible. Um, what we want to have in this video is to have two additional things. First, we want to be able to um, detect planes. So like if we're looking around, we want to overlay some digital image or digital object um, on top of the plane. So let's say I'm looking at a table, and then on my table I would see like a Unity plane being created. To do that, I'm going to add a component, and I'm going to go to the AR section. Oops. Um, scripts. No. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to type it then. Uh, I type AR at the top. I'm going to type AR plane manager. Um, and what this does is that whenever it sees a plane, it creates an object. And we need to give it an object. It says plane prefab here, but there's none yet. So to do that, we're going to create one more object. I'm going to create, go to XR and create a default plane. And back in my session origin, I'm going to tell it whenever you see a plane, create a new default plane. Cool. So now when we're going to build it, um, we're going to have a, uh, a bunch of planes whenever they're detected. The other thing that we want is that whenever we tap them, once we have those planes, whenever we tap the screen and we're, we're tapping on those planes, we want a cube to appear. So this is going to require a little bit more. First, we're going to want to create a cube. So I'm going to go to 3D object, create cube. And then I'm going to go to um, the AR session origin, and I'm going to create an AR Raycast Manager. Um, this one is also built in here. Um, we don't need to change anything about it. This is the script that takes care of translating our, our taps into coordinates that Unity can use. And then we have a final script. Um, which is going to be uh, the script that has the logic, if you're tapping, create a cube. That script I've already written, and so I'm going to go into Assets, Import New Asset, find my script on the desktop, Interaction Manager, and import it. So now that I have my Interaction Manager script imported, I drag and drop it onto the AR session origin. And the last thing is that it asks me which object do I want it to appear whenever I interact, whenever I tap. And this is where I drag my cube. Cool. I'm going to save it. And this is all set up for all the objects that we need for basic AR application. The next thing we need is to go to our project settings. So I'm going to go to File, Build Settings. And before we can actually go to the player settings here, at the bottom left, we need to choose the, the platform that we want. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start with Android, um, since this one is faster, and I'm gonna click on Switch Platform, and it's going to convert um, all the assets that I have currently um, into an Android-friendly format. And once this is done, I want to add um, the scenes in the build. So this is my sample scene that I have now, the one that I'm working on. I'm going to click on Add Open Scenes, and I have Scenes, Sample Scene here. It's number zero, so it's the one that's going to open by default whenever I open the app. Um, and now we're good. We're going to go into Player Settings. I have my Project Settings tab that opened, um, and I'm in the Player section. And there are a couple of things that we need to change. Uh, first one is the company name. I'm going to change it to Pierre. The product name, it's going to be AR Demo. Oops, without a space. And I'm going to need to remove the Vulkan graphics API. Then I'm going to go into um, 
minimum API level. So basically, this is like what is the, what are the phones that are supported, um, and we need minimum 7.0, so API level 24. We'll see what it is for iOS. For iOS, it's um, 11. Okay, um, I look at the target architectures. No, 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 write permission. Um, yep, the last thing is that I'm going to go to um, iOS. And those settings are the same. Um, and this is the one I want to change. Camera usage description, because we're going to need to activate the camera. And so we need to have this pop-up that shows up that says, please allow your camera. Um, please allow this app to access your camera. And so I'm say, going to say, uh, use for augmented reality. And that's just the message that's going to happen on the pop-up. Um, we check that the, the target iOS version is 11. It's the first one that supports ARKit. And everything else looks good. Cool. And so now I'm going to go back to my build settings. And I'm going to check that my um, phone is connected. So I have a phone. Um, it's an Android phone on which I have activated the development options. To um, activate the development options, you or the developer, yeah, developer options, you go into your settings, um, and then you find you need to find them in about phone. You need to find the build number. There's um, there's a field somewhere in your settings that says uh, build number, and then you tap it 13 times. One you've once you've tapped it, no, that 13, seven, yes, yeah, seven. Once you've tapped it seven, it's gonna say you're now a developer. Um, and there's a main, there's a menu, uh, a new menu in your in your settings that is going to say developer options. You click on this, and then you're gonna uh, toggle USB de debugging to enable USB debugging. Once it's enabled, then we'll be able to see it here in this um, drop down. So you see run device and Google Nexus 5X. That's the phone that I have connected to this computer right now. And now I'm gonna um, click build and run. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So this is the actual file that's going to be uploaded to my phone. I'm going to save it to AR demo Android 1. Save. And now it's preparing to build. I set my Android device to um, transfer files. So this is why uh, I guess this uh, window opened. And now there's um, my phone's launching, made with Unity, and it asks me, do I want to like use the camera? I click Allow. And now I have an AR app that starts to try and figure out where the planes are. I move it around a little bit. Um, it's going to detect some planes. And I can tap here and there to create some cubes on the plane. And when I quit it, you can see that the app itself has been um, uploaded onto your screen itself. Um, you can take off the cable, the app will still be there, um, you can still run it and discover um, new planes and add more cubes. Let's look now at um, the iPhone version. So to do that we go to our um, Project settings, we go to XR plugin management, and inside the plugin management, we take off Xcode. In iOS, we go to ARKit, and in our build settings, we're going to switch from Android to iOS. I'm going to click switch platform. So now that, we, that we've switched the platform, it's actually going to be a little bit more complicated. So um, with Android, we can just connect our phone and it um, exports it directly to our phone. With iOS, we need to go through um, an additional step, which is using Apple's proprietary software, Xcode. To start with, we're going to click on Build, and we're going to save it on the desktop, and I'm going to call it AR Demo iOS. 
So I go on my desktop and I created this folder. And this folder is basically a big Xcode project. Um, so if it is a big Xcode project, we're going to want to open Xcode by clicking on this file, Unity iPhone.xcode project. It's going to open up Xcode, and there are a couple of things that we need to do. First, we need to make sure that um, we have our device connected. So I'm going to plug in my cable, plug in my device. If it's the first time that you're connecting your device to um, your iPhone or your iPad to them, uh, to Xcode, it's going to ask you to trust the computer or not. Um, it's going to be something that you see on your iPhone or on your um, on your iPad, and you want to tap uh, Trust. And you see it'll appear here on the top left. So you want to select your iPhone or your iPad here. The second thing is that you need to log in with your Apple ID. So we're going to go to Xcode, Preferences, Accounts, and I'm logged in here. In order to log in for a new profile, you click on the plus Apple ID, Continue. You give your Apple ID, you give it a password, and you'll have your Apple ID here. Once you're logged in, you want to go to um, the General tab, and then in Signing, you want to tick Automatically Manage Signing, and it should find your team. Um, it'll make a provisional profile, it will sign the certificate, everything should be fine. Once this is done, we're ready to go, and we're going to click Play at the top left. It's going to start building our project. -da 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 -da. And once this is over, it's going to copy over the Unity application onto our iPad or onto our iPhone, and we're going to be able to run it from the iPad or from the iPhone. And then, so once you have a succeeded build, you end up with um, an app on your iPad or on your phone. And then the same thing, when it's running, you can click Stop. It'll quit the, the app on your device, you can unplug the cable, and then the app will still be there. And so that concludes um, all of our uh, process for building an AR app. The requirement is that we need to have um, the modules installed inside the Unity Hub, either the Android build module or the iOS build module. If you have the iOS build module, you also need to install Xcode, this thing. Importing the AR Foundation packages from the package manager, Either ARX, oops, um, either um, ARKit XR, found, uh, XR package or AR Core XR package, and always the AR Foundation package. Using the prefabs, the session origin, the um, AR session, AR request managers, and so on. Um, the interaction manager script that we're using in, the, in this video, you'll find in the link in the description of the video. Using them, so adding the cube, um, assigning the objects where this should be. And then in the build settings, making sure that all the settings are correct, and then building it um, by adding your scene and then clicking on switch platform, either to Android or to iOS, and then click build. And that's it.